from Fresh Blooming Clothing. Hi everyone, I'm Bear, and I would like to start off by saying, I hope your day is blooming with joy. Today we did another bin challenge where we go into the Goodwill bins. We have a certain amount of time, which I'll explain in a little bit, and no monetary limit, and we just see what we can find, and we haven't seen each other's purchases. We checked out separately, brought them in the house separately, and here we are. I, because of my first trip, found that there were things just from that one trip that I would like, I'm not picking up anymore. So I didn't find hardly anything. So <laughs> after, and clothes, I just, there's no use me looking at clothes at all. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even bother looking at clothes. So when I was done, I said to her, you can just stay in here as long as you like. We've done that many times before. Just go out and listen to music in the car. So I was out in the car for a little while while she continued shopping. Yeah, so I actually had more time, but he didn't really think he needed the extra time, could find anything, I guess. No. Right. <laughs> so this is not going to be as balanced as the last one, because how much did you spend? Four dollars. <laughs> and I spent like thirty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want me to show first? Sure, because you're gonna have okay. way more stuff than me. Yeah, and neither one of us looked anything up. So yeah. um, I got a that's fun. Copenhagen clock. That's very fun. I'm realizing that the ring light is showing. There we go. So it looks like it's in good condition. I haven't tested it out. I always think to bring a battery to the Goodwill bins and then I forget. So assuming this is going to work, I would think like five to ten dollars on offer up. Well, it's quartz, so that's a good thing. Okay. Yeah, maybe They're five, ten dollars. Much more accurate. Oh. Yes. Good. And I got charged a dollar. You can go. <laughs> okay. This looks like a fun package that you would give somebody some present in you personally. Because you like to have fun packages to give. I do like to have fun packages. This is a wine bottle package. Oh. So it's not worth anything. <laughs> I didn't think it was worth anything necessarily. I just seriously got no, it. No, I like before. it. It's jute. That's the material. It's like that burlapping material. It even has tissue paper on it. Okay. So, um, so for Valentine's Day next year, if I give somebody something long and tall. Yeah, it's not going to make the cut till next Valentine's Day, right? No, no, it's not. <laughs> so I just thought, I know you give stuff away a lot, so. This will probably go to our friend Linda. <laughs> yes. Unless you can think of something. No, else to I'm put totally, in it. I'm totally fine giving it away. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. It's a cute bag. Yes. Okay, for those of you that don't like clowns, you might want to look away. I know people have uh, phobias of clowns. He's a fun clown. Oh. Uh, yes. So I found this rainbow striped tote, and it has uh, like a plaid ribbon around his collar. And he's he's got like sewn on buttons. Yes, for size. And felt and I'm guessing this is from the seventies, right? Wouldn't you think this would be the, from the seventies? Probably 70s, yes. Maybe Just 80s? judging from the bag. Yeah. Yes. It's not in the best of shape, but it's definitely still usable. And I understand if people are afraid of clowns, but this clown in particular was made to try to look happy. He's not I think so. He's not trying to look yeah. not scary at all. So yeah. I don't know what I'll get for this. I'm gonna price it maybe $15. Go again? Yes. <laughs> okay. Next I have a set of Bravo for instant cleavage. They're push-ups for your bra. So they're just like padded, but they looked brand new and there's four of them. They had the price for one pair at $12.99. So this is from Swim Mart, so you can swim in these. My only comment on those is Yes, those are something that you've purchased. Good. <laughs> that seems to be the safest one, right? Okay. Next is a Beyonce something. I found this box kind of scattered through and then I found all of these. So it looks to be a CD. I think there's only one CD and book set. Here's the audio. Oh, maybe this is an audio book of Beyonce. And there's like a whole bunch of other, I, I don't know. Well, okay, so, so what was your reasoning for purchasing this now? 
Beyonce. Oh, okay. You didn't know what it was, you just knew it was something to do with Beyonce. Yes. Okay. It has really good graphics, like black and pink graphics, if somebody wanted to frame the graphics. Okay. So, but this is something you think somebody will buy? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. I've sold Beyonce stuff. I think there's two CDs. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It doesn't say. Well, it says live, so I'm guessing that that CD is a live recording. Okay. Or live performance or something. Oh, you something you watch perhaps. Perhaps. Yes. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Beyonce thing. I'm guessing it'll bring maybe ten or fifteen dollars. Oh, I forgot one. And then I found a Rolodex. <laughs> file. I'm so excited you picked those up because I have a comment about that. Go for it. I was, I was like, I was going to pick those up. Are you serious? I had them in my hand because, you know, it's vintagey. Yes. But I remember last trip I got burned on the vintagey stuff. So you I was just, like, so I'll cute. just put the Rolodex things back. But I'm so glad you got this. Yeah, I wish there would have been more of them. We were talking about this in the car that when there's like one I think about it, but if there would have been like 10 of these new in the box, I would have for sure picked them up. But this one is new in the packaging. People still have Rolodexes. So, really? Yeah. Okay. Now when you say people, you think there are people that still continually use them as a I do. source for this? Okay. For sure. Okay. All right. As I just gaze in my bag, I realize that I really have only purchased one thing that may possibly be resale. Two things. Aww, Two things, right? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got these at different times. Okay. I'll pick them up in a second. Um, uh, just these are normal, quote unquote, Tupperware containers. I keep butter in them. <laughs> out so it stays soft and I realized I only have one so in order to rotate the dish once in a while because yeah yes so well, Tupperware go ahead Tupperware, yes okay and these are Tupperware with the attached well that's pretty cool lid and the color come on there who makes them I don't know Mr. Lid containers <laughs> Mr. apparently Mr. Lid makes this <laughs> I've never heard of Mr. Yeah. Lid I wonder if Mr. Lid makes anything else <laughs> okay that's go. something usable at least mm-hmm I, I have so much that I feel bad. No, it's fun because, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be fun for me. It's always fun for me. Okay. You do this. I have a Disney, I don't know who the character is. Is that Cookie Monster? It's Disney though, oh, I don't so think not, so. So it can't. Um, and it, it's got like floating... Stars? Stars. And it looks brand new with tags. It says authentic Disney store. Disney store stuff cool. is pretty good. And the price on the bottom was Canadian seven fifty, so I might be able to get I don't know five ten bucks for it. Oh. I'm gonna collect my hats before I show everybody. Okay, this is. Okay, good. Okay. You I'm, saw this. I'm not. Well, something else. Something else. We'll Vintage wait. Vera Bradley. This one was in really good shape. I might get five ten bucks for it. It's one of their older styles. It's a crossbody. And what I'm guessing. Did you see? No. That? Oh, I, oh, that, okay. Yeah. Another Vera Bradley. I've actually owned this print before. It's one of their eyeglass cases. It's not in the best shape, but it's not in the worst shape, honestly, right? No, no. In fact, I, that is something I probably would have picked up. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I'll tell you why later. Well, I'm guessing this is going to be for you. Remember, you said your sunglass case is okay. We, 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 this is a this is a proper time for me to bring this up. Now. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> um, I got the sun, but these are for me because we were just talking on the way there about how I probably need another holder because of the glasses I have and stuff. And so this, I think I saw that in with these. Okay. But I didn't. I should have picked that up and looked inside because yeah. I not that I recognized that print, but I realized it was some sort of fancy thing. Yeah, Vera Bradley. This yeah. might bring five bucks. But if I would have opened that, I would have recognized that name. You totally would have. Yes. I have a lot of hats. It was hat day there for me. So I have this hat. It's a visor, and it, it's a little shady inside. The terry cloth is definitely going to need cleaned. And it's a little shady in the sun. Ha! Huh. Uh, that's very funny. No label. <laughs> It's just kind of got a golf theme. Golf season's coming. Well, I would, is that a golf hat, do you think? I think so. Yeah. 
Obviously, it's a sweatband. So oh, it's a sweatband. That's what. That's all. That's why it soaks up your sweat. Okay. Uh, but that's is that something cool. you're just gonna sell or keep for? Oh, the beach? sell. Okay. Definitely sell. Maybe five bucks. Could you wear that at the beach? I could. Then I had a Panama Jack hat, and it's like one of these wind kind of hats. It says made in the USA. Maybe another five bucks. I need to clean it. What do you mean by a wind hat? Like this extra piece in the yeah, back. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so your neck doesn't get sunburned. Oh, is that for wind? No. Oh. That's so your neck doesn't get sunburned. <laughs> See, this is keeping the sun off your face, and okay. this is keeping it off your back. Oh, how clever. Yeah. I can't believe that I had to tell you a clothing thing. Huh. Then I found this hat. I had that one in my hand. And it just looks so vintage and cool. It's Fabric Brothers. It's just a, it's just a, a car dealership, I'm guessing. Yeah. Or some kind of mechanic or something. Yeah. So cool. How many panels is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. I know the five panel hats go for more. Really? But it, yeah. I had no idea there was a difference. Yeah, this one's a six panel, but it does have the snap back. So I'm going to put snap back in the title. So that's a good thing. And um, it does have like a vintage looking label. Okay, go ahead. You have to Google that and see if that car dealership, or if that's a car, if it's still yeah. in business. So cool. Yeah. And yet another hat. I have so many hats. This one is a Harley Davidson. That's like an Australian hat. I know. And it has one of those things that go around. I'm sure this is called something. Oh, yeah, that is. That's a chin strap, but I don't know what this, chin strap. this yeah. slider thing is. Something. Maybe a toggle. But this is the one in Cabo St. Lucas. So, I don't know. Hats are sometimes like five to ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Hugo. <laughs> you know I can't pass this up. Come on, you can't have uh, too many. You can't. Oh, well, this one looks like a good no, one. No, it's a very good one. That's what I'm saying. You can't pass that up because I do use those in the he car does. for to hold my equipment down and all that stuff. Wow, this one's different than any other one I've ever seen. No, no, there's one in my car exactly like that. Oh, well, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Okay. It's a little stronger, yes. What's this? This is for um, to fasten your license plate on. If you notice, car guys, this would be a car guy thing. That you think car guys are watching. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to explain why I bought these. Okay. If you, if you notice, your license plate bolts will rust, and they look yucky. These are plastic, and they will never rust. Oh, so you're going to put those on our car? <laughs> Maybe, but that's why I got it because it's okay. and it's a vintagey thing. So whatever. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll look it up then. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Next is just a whole bunch of small things. They're napkins for our car, which she gave me for free. Clearly, they're new and Christmassy. Good, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'll keep going. There is a package of bra fixers. So, converting clips, um, nipple covers, bra extenders. This one has words on it, Florida. So I just thought I would probably lot these up. Maybe like $4 or so. What What is a converting clip? I must ask about that at least. Uh, what that the extender thing, this? No, it says right here, converting oh, clip. Oh, it's like a little circle. And what does it do? You can put your bra straps through it and it makes it more of a racer back instead of like your bra straps going Would that straight. make it tighter? It would. Is that a good thing? I mean, somebody- Possibly, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so let me keep going. Mm -hmm. Another leg. This will just be for my niece, her summer box, one of the summer boxes. I was remembering to look for stuff for her as well. Oh, thanks. Yes. And then I got all of these. They're little Dixie cups. They were new in the box, but I took them out of the box. Dad used to have those in his shop. He did. Did you want these in your bathroom? Did no. You no? No. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Okay. I want to get to something. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Let's show our next thing at the same time. On three. One, two, three. Ah, oh, yours are gray and mine's pink. <laughs> I remember you needed one of these. Yes. For, okay. For my tray. And now we have how many? Well, here's what I thought. I, I initially was only going to get one because I have a tray that I carry back and forth at night for my meals <laughs> and watch TV. But then I thought, well, maybe I could also line a shelf or something with these. We're always looking for these thing, type of things. Yes. So? So I have, I have three. And I have... I think you have four. 
Uh, yes, I have four, yes. So we have seven. <laughs> so you only got those for us as well. Yeah, I got those for you. Okay. Next up are arm slings. These are pricey, and if you don't have health insurance, you might go online and find these. Now you can sell medical equipment as long as there's no prescription needed. So we'll be okay on these. This one's a good name. Breg is a good name for medical equipment. They both are very good. Yeah, don't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, they might have been used once or twice, but oh. they're both very clean. Mm -hmm. And next, no. do you want to hold one? Yeah, I'll hold one, but that's it. These are both human hair. They, they need some help, but uh, yeah. This one is made for, yeah, for a boutique, and this one doesn't say anything, but wigs do pretty well. Usually I can get like $20, $30 from a wig, and these are human hair wigs. So once they're cleaned up, I really might do $30 on them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna go? Yes. Um, this is for our friend Mikey and Linda because she's so into Christmas stuff. So it's just a little, whoops, sorry, a little <laughs> snowman inside a globe there. <laughs> there was a lot of Christmas stuff there today. Yes. Did you notice that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you just bought that for them? Yes. That's very yes, sweet. I just bought that for them. Okay. This, I should save that for last. Okay. So the next, I have two things left. The next, and now I realize after I even brought this, it's a cake pop and donut maker. And it's electric but what happened was all I heard in my mind was cake donuts <laughs> so <laughs> I was like yes but I realize it's ridiculous to get this because this is you can't sell this you can't you can't yeah because it might be a yard sale thing for a dollar maybe. sure sure but it's clean it is and I wish we'd have had this last night oh we could have made a whole bunch of cake bumps we could have and we didn't have the sticks, but yeah. Oh, you just be, you don't need a stick. No, for real, right? Okay, yeah, no. But that, can that's- cake pops for you. No, we don't need to. I shouldn't have gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, I told you what happened. I just heard cake in my head. So. Yeah. This is the sole thing I thought might sell because it's oh, vintage and cool. That is vintage and cool. Now, this is obviously a napkin holder. And I, I don't, oh, not good enough? Okay. I, I didn't know if these were measuring cups. Is that they what they are. are? Yeah. Measuring cups. Quarter, half, third, two thirds maybe. There is a little burn mark on one, but I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. So will, will these be something that you can sell? I might be able to sell the set for $5, yeah. $10. Okay. It's, it's vintage cool. Right. Yeah, these are adorable. Right. There's no maker mark on them. Oh yeah, one cup, it says what they are on the Oh, okay. Half. One third. That's very cool. Quarter. You did good. Well, that's the one thing I got. No, that's that's a very fun thing. Okay, but now I get to watch the rest of the stuff that you got. Okay. And that's fun for me. Oh, there's still so much stuff. Okay, so I spent thirty-five sixty-two. More hats. This is Remington Gunmaker hat in a green color. I know guns is quite the hot topic nowadays, but this one looked like it, it was in good shape. Maybe five, ten bucks. Oh, Yankees hat. Yankees hat. Did you want this one? No. Really? No. I picked it up with you in mind. I don't know what this will bring. Maybe five bucks. You look cute. It looks too big on you, which is weird. Does it feel too big? You're just gonna keep it on there? Should I? I, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> then I got this hat, which I thought might be Pendleton, but it is actually Columbia. But it has that fleece pattern going for it. I don't know, maybe 10 bucks? We're so glad we don't need that hat in Florida. Seriously, it was 85 today, which is awesome. We're so thankful. Then I got, I think this is a Boy Scout thing, Tiger Cup? Yes. I believe right? So. I think that's pre Boy Scouts. Okay. It's like in perfect shape. Like the brownies are mini Girl Scouts. Okay. I think. So cute. I have so much stuff. 
Mm. I saw that as well. Did you? Yes. Okay, I have more of these. Here, you hold some. Okay. So somebody made this out of pipe cleaner. So we have a skull, not a skull. So we have a skunk and they have wiggly eyes. Did you see what this one was? Yeah, it's an elephant, right? Nope. It's oh, it's a pig. It's, oh, a, it's pig. a pig. Oh, this is an elephant. A pig. They're so cute. It's an elephant. An elephant. His, his tusk needs fixed. I'm going to say this is a bear. Is that a tusk? What is this called? Well, that's their trunk. 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 Yeah, yeah probably a bear. Mm -hmm. And which other one? A dog? Yes, I guess it's a dog. Yeah. But they all are homemade. They just... They had so many of them that they look so cute. I think somebody's gonna like these. Then I have a Disney lanyard and it's Disney Vacation Club member. So I thought somebody might want that. It even has like the thing that says you're a member. Steer your fellow shipmates toward the magic of Disney. Supply this card to new friends and ask about Disney. You see, I would have picked that up if I would have seen that. Huh. Yeah, I don't know that it'll do better than a couple dollars, but it all adds up. Good job. Just because of the branding of it is all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I was saying good job because you said it over. Oh, fuck it. Then I found this. Uh, the maker is Boots, which I'm familiar with Boots from Target. But it is a hot water bottle cover oh. and pajama case. So I'm assuming pajamas came in it. It says Felicity wishes and Felicity just means cheerful cheerful for those that don't know. There's a little ballerina on the front and it's a bag. So you it looks put, brand new. It is brand new. Right? Yes. It's very nice. Yeah, I liked if it. People use a hot water bottle. Yeah. Or if a girl was just going like an overnight, she could put pajamas oh, okay. or she could just keep Barbie clothes in it or something. Sure. Then I found this. Oh, old eyeglasses? It's a bin, a bag of old eyeglasses. So you can start taking some out. Okay. I bought them all. These are just the ones that sit on your face. Oh, oh, I really like this on you. Take your hat off for a second. Do those have something written on the inside? I don't know. <laughs> they do. They're strong, right? Oh, they're super strong. <laughs> Whew! Yeah. Okay, put those back in. Mm -hmm. Then we have these, which is missing the lens, but it is in there. Optivision. <laughs> these aren't very good. I'll probably just wind up selling these as a lot because. And why do people purchase use? I thought they, I mean, I thought the stuff you give away usually. Not necessarily. Vintage glasses. Ooh, these are strong as well. Are they? Those are foster grants. Those look nice on you. And then these were my favorite. <laughs> and they came in a really nice case. It doesn't say who makes them. There is etchings there, but. <laughs> you know people would just like the frame and then just get um fake glasses like just the look of them i think are pretty cool these are just reading glasses but they're, they? they're threes oh okay. so I'll, I'll keep these because you're yeah. not going to get anything for these right i, I have oh no well idea. see what you can i wouldn't think so no. okay and then these yeah there's a couple more pairs but i'm sure she didn't charge me very much for those now nope i'll grab this out of there thanks did you save me i thought you were going to fall i seriously did <laughs> i actually saw this and i passed it up but this is the top to um the water pick and all of the extra picks and brushes are there okay we're good did you see the water pick there? I did, but it was really dirty. And it's an old one, right? It wasn't it, like kind of like we had. Yes. No, did you it. see it yes. too? Mm -hmm. But the picks looked like they were in excellent condition, and these things do need replaced. So maybe five, ten bucks. Okay. Next, some clothing. I found Focus USA, 
And this is one of their waffle weave, waffle woven, I forget what they call it. It's kind of like a dark teal. It's a cotton. It feels like thermal underwear, only bigger, bigger squares. Yeah, it's really heavy though. I mean like a mm -hmm. good weight to it. Mm -hmm. But it was an excellent shape. And this is, this is lagging look. This is somebody who wants like a boxy oversized piece. Okay, lagging look. That's a thing. Sure it is. Next I found an anthropology piece, which was surprising because the bins were not in the best shape today, right? Yes. And this is like a jacket, blue and white striped with a belt. I'm gonna guess that this is one of their older pieces. But it looked to be in pretty decent shape. Our bins now want a dollar ninety nine a pound, so this is definitely over a pound. I might have paid three or four bucks for this. Is that unisex? I don't think so. No. So it's a ladies. Definitely ladies. Okay. Yeah. Did you want me to try it on? No. Oh. <laughs> I I I didn't know if it was a boy's. That could be something yeah. like a hipster boy would wear. I thought. But maybe. But no, it's a girl's. It's okay. a girl brand. All right. <sighs> These were maybe not such a great deal. They are Stan Herman, who's a good designer. <laughs> he designed for US Airways. And I'm not sure I can sell these yet. So usually current uniforms for some types of places, I'm not sure airports is one of them, cannot be sold. So it's a navy blue jacket. Now, is that a flight attendant jacket or? I, I or don't a, know. Okay. And here's another one. It could be flight attendant. It could be pilot. It could be pilot. Yes. Those are the two choices, I think. Probably. It's not gonna be, <laughs> no, I mean it's not going to be baggage handlers or anything like that. They're not going to have a suit that fancy for a baggage handler. I it could be so. ticket people. It could be. Yeah. You know, it's really well made, like it's all lined. Yes, it's, They're yeah. definitely men's. Okay, so, so I'll have to look at that. Well, this could be anything. Yeah, yeah, still could be anything. That yep. was not very helpful. So we'll see. Next is a vintage piece. It's a bustier. Bustier, bustier. And it is made by Janssen, who is usually a swimsuit company. And it is their original Curvalor. That's good. And it has a ton of hooks down the back, padded cups. It looks tiny. But. I will continue with my no comment <laughs> on items such as that. Okay. Doesn't it? It does look vintage though. Yes, it looks vintage -y. This is a silly thing. This was brand new with tags. It's by Noel, or s sometimes it's simply Noel. I'll probably just use it for um, a tie on one of my niece's packages. Okay, now, is simply Noel and Noel two different levels? I think so. Okay. That's a good question. I don't know. Oh, okay. But it looked fun. It was probably maybe a quarter or so. Next, I was so glad to find this piece. It's Oh My Gosh. And they have a shop in Sarasota, Florida, so I find this a lot. Wow. And it's that lag and look type, type thing. Now, when, when you say they have a shop, you mean they only sell this, not this particular shirt, but these clothing? Yeah, it's I think so. It's a clothing so. store. Yeah, it's a clothing I think store. they have one in um, Arizona and one in Florida. And they sell just clothes? I think so, just this brand. I could what, be wrong, but well, I'm pretty okay. sure. What, what would they sell in the store besides a shirt, though? Pants. Oh, okay. Just clothing that looks exactly like this. Okay. It's all 100% cotton. It's all got this, like, gauzy knit to it. Okay. It's probably a woven. All right. But, yeah. So, I might get 15 bucks for this. That seems pretty exclusive to have two stores, just one here and one, mm -hmm. right? That's pretty they are. Exclusive. They also have online. You oh, can buy okay. stuff online. Okay. Well, it's your color. <laughs> it's 
So this is Palm Tree Grove, which is not a very popular brand. Um, I think Beals sells this, and Beals is like a J.C. Penney type store. But isn't that pronounced Bells? Oh, I think he's right. I think it's pronounced Bells. Thank you. Yes. So it's mint. It's like an aqua mint, and it has a palm tree on the front. Are you going to keep that? I might keep it. <laughs> wooden buttons and it's like a tunic with a little bit of a longer hem on the sides. Well you will continue to look your adorable self in that. Hmm. True. But but let's say about the color. Yes it's definitely your color. It's such a good color definitely right? Color. Yes. Makes me so happy. It vaguely reminds me of toothpaste. The color does? Yeah it's like oh, okay. a mint toothpaste color. Oh okay. Because okay. it's not as aqua as some pieces. It's a little bit more green than aqua. Yes yes it's very light. It very is very light. light. It's very sherberty looking. Mm -hmm. Next is a scarf from Disney. No. And it's just got Mickey Mouse on it. It's fun. Yes. And let's see, does it say Disney anywhere on it? It doesn't. But it's viscose, which is a decent fabric. I'm shocked it doesn't say Disney on it. It's like not polyester. It's no. Do people fabric. use a scarf like that for just decoration? That's a lot of people wear scarves like this, like more of a necklace thing, I think. So it's decoration. It's not to keep yeah. your neck warm. Not really, no. Okay. Maybe a heavy scarf is, but yeah, I don't think that, this one. That's what I'm saying. Just, yeah. That's just a decoration scarf. Yeah. Plus, maybe they like to cover or draw attention to this part of their body. You know how sometimes people wear stuff to shape the body? Yes, I do. I, I want to save this because I love these. Okay. We're reaching at the end here. Hey, one of my, oh, oh, I'm so excited about this. Huh. The pig has a hat. Sweet. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. He's like a farmer pig. <laughs> yes. You're gonna have to like stick it down. I think he's oh, foam. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. No, that's a foam, foam ball in there. Yeah. yeah. That is adorable. Adorable. Now I want to keep him. Do you want to keep him? No. <laughs> because you know how we have about stuff sitting around. I know. You don't do that. If I really wanted to keep him, you'd let me keep oh, him. Oh, yeah. It's not a let thing. Yeah, it's yeah. not that at all. If you want him, keep him. But okay. you said, do I want to keep them? I said, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to keep him. Next, we have Burt's Bees Spot Corrector. So this in the store would probably be like 5 to $10. So it's just a cream for your face. Hmm. It smells okay. I, I'm not above using this kind of stuff, so I'll, I'll use it. Oh, okay. Something you bought to use. Yeah. Okay. Metallic silver paint. Okay. Uh, I paint a lot. It says email on there. That's the name of the color, email? Huh. Email is the color, right? Mm, I, I, I don't know. I'm guessing that's just the translation for enamel. No. Yeah, see how it says like something acrylic? It's enamel acrylic paint and then this is the two translations. One is in Spanish and one is, I don't even know the other language. <laughs> it's just enamel in a different language. Okay. Email is a different language for enamel, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. That's what you're guessing. Okay. The color is silver sterling. So I paint a good bit. Um, just to play around and stuff and I thought this was such a fun color and this probably would have been like a dollar or two but it's got that metallic look to it great yeah and next is a main thing of toothpaste <sighs> look how tiny it is yes it's and like that, a Barbie toothpaste and of course we don't care about this but is this sealed did you even look I looked it's not sealed but it looks brand new yeah I don't care about that I don't care we're getting there Next, we have a fashion flapper costume. It's a plus size 2X costume, and it looks like it has everything inside. Now, they charged me for weight on this, and this is a heavy costume. Yeah. So I'm guessing I paid like $4 for it. But costumes usually do pretty well. Um, it comes with, I don't even know if it was worn, the pearls and the headpiece with the feathers and the garter belts and the suspenders. And apparently with this, you can become an instant flapper. Oh, an instant 
leopard. That's what it says right there. Instant leopard. And a bow tie. So it looks like a pretty decently made costume. Oh, <laughs> that's a little... Yeah, this is well made. This it's... is a high society cigarette. Oh, is that what that is? They put that in high society. I thought it was a wand. <laughs> no, it's a high society cigarette. Oh. Yeah, this is really well made. I'm glad I got this. It actually kind of smells nice. Does that the smell? It smells nice. It does smell nice. Yeah. I'm guessing it's new. Or maybe somebody wore a light perfume with it. But something like this at a costume store, because of how nicely made it is, was probably, I'm going to guess like $70, $80. And this might have been a separate purchase, so good find, me. Mm. We're getting to the end. Yeah, I, I'm always sad when we get to the end. Are you? Yes, because I like when we get more stuff. It's fun. Mm, you're fun. fun. You have one more. Did you see the hat that was brown, like really had a really nice brim on it? I, I had that in my hand too, but I didn't pick it up. I didn't it was, see it. It was a baseball cap. Okay, next is just a card. She gave it to me for free. It's Santa Claus on a beach. It's, it's a Christmas card. It's like a vintage Christmas card. And where better for Santa to be than on the beach, I say? I'll probably just send it to Tima, my niece, come Christmas time. And an empty box. Just looked like a good box for shipping. Oh, okay. We got up to the, well, you went first, and yes. you didn't know Mary was up there. Mary was the person at the checkout, and I love Mary. She's one of those people, very few people at this point at the checkout say, like, okay, don't even take things out of your cart. It's just whatever. But some people are like, this is a quarter, this is a quarter, but Mary's not like that. Mary's the good one. What do you want, Mary? I know, so I was excited. I saw a lot of these. Did you see all of these? I saw this in particular one, but... They had like 15 of these. I wonder if it was a daycare, but this was the nicest one. It's just Carter's and these these are called Lovies. And what does one do with that? It's for a baby. Yes. And what, is this just for a baby to play with? Yeah, it becomes like a security blanket, like the texture oh, is oh, really Oh, so they soft. can like hold this and do this kind of thing. Okay. You can loop it around like something. I thought it was a puppet at first. Oh no. But it's not. It's just no, a, it's it's a lovey. Is that now are you calling it a lovey or is that a thing? That's a thing. A lovey. A lovey. So any type of security blanket or something is something with people would... Usually it's a small blanket with a headstone on. Oh something on it. So a, a small blanket with something on it would be a lovey. Yeah. Like a plush head. Okay now that's not a company name that's just what the thing is called. Correct. A lovey. Yep. Okay. Then I got gloves, and these are Gore-Tex gloves. Mm. I know those are good. Yeah, right? Gore-Tex, yes. I have to wash them, but yes. they looked vintage-y. Don't they? That looks I, like... I don't necessarily, I wouldn't say they're vintage but I mean, I don't know, but just from the looks of the glove, I would say not, but... Okay. Hey, they fit you. Yeah. Do you need really heavy gloves? Thankfully, no. I do not need these any longer. <laughs> they don't fit me. This is something I would have used with the snowblower. In Pennsylvania? Yes. Yeah, they're not in the best shape. They have some wear to them, but somebody will buy them. And second to last, I found this thinking I was going to find more. I did not. This is a swim diaper um, with a UPF of 50. It's just like a swim diaper cover-up. I still might get a couple dollars for it. A UPF, is that a screen? A sunscreen? It is. Well, isn't any clothing itself... Not 100%, no. Oh, really? Yeah, they make fabrics that have it in it, though. <laughs> I never heard of this. They're like, oh, in my mind, like, if you go out in someone's clothes on, you're not going to get sun. No, that's not true. But you're not, not saying that's a Oh, wow, that's wild. <laughs> Learning I, see, I did not day. know that, yeah. And the last thing I got with my $35 our overalls. Mm. Are those Oshkosh by gosh? These are Duluth Trading Company, mm. which is a good name. You're not going to be able to see them. But 
but I loved them. They're very fun. Yeah, they're again, they're not perfect, but now, they're good now who, enough. Who will be interested in those? Possibly. What type of? Everyone. Well, I mean, is somebody, well, somebody's not going to purchase a thing like this to actually use to work, or are they? Or They might. They might. Like a painter or somebody might use these, or somebody for working, but I'm guessing like a fashionista is going to want to wear these with like a frilly bow tie shirt. What like, is a fas fashionista exactly? Um, like somebody who has influence over fashion oh, okay. or follows fashion. Like myself. Oh, sure. Yeah. And look at the bottoms of them. They have like... That's a like corduroy, right? Uh, oh no, like, it's sort of, yeah, it's like I don't a know what that khaki is. material. Yeah, it's got a texture to it. Mm -hmm. But I might try these on. I think these are gonna be giant on me. But I almost wish they had more distressing. Mm. Somebody might be able to rough them up a little bit, but Duluth Trading Company is an excellent brand too. I've heard of them. I should show this. I don't find them often, but I think somebody threw these back. So that was everything. What was your favorite find? Uh, my favorite find was the cups, the duck cups, because I think someone will really like those. I agree. Some, like, like Lynn, our friend from Pennsylvania, that's something she would have in her house because she's very knick-knacky. Yeah, her um, theme is um, apples, though. People have themes. You need somebody to well, have a duck theme. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mean her specifically, but that, oh, somebody like some, her. Somebody yeah. like her, yeah. We had fun. Did you have fun? Yes, I had fun. Yes, I did. Uh, but we did discuss that in the future it would be better for me just to go with her and actually show her something instead of bring, paying for it, bringing it home and, yeah. and finding out. Because it'll be just as fun for me to see all the stuff that she got, which, yeah. I, which I normally used to do without the benefit of the camera. Yes, <laughs> that's so true. For years, you just sat yeah, for me she would bring, saying, bring look at all this stuff. Look what I got. And she would get through it all. Yeah. I haven't been thrifting as much as I would like to just with YouTube and just I've not been feeling all that well. I tried to cut back on a medication that I shouldn't have, but you got to try, right? Well, we're glad that you heard it back the other way because those yeah. were a couple of rough days. They were. But I had a really good time. I wish I could bring you all thrifting with me because it's so much fun. Even if the bin isn't like spectacular, it's still fun. It's an experience. <laughs> well, it is. That's what I'm saying. It is an experience because there's all kinds of different people in there. and You'll never know what you're going to find. Never either. know what you're going to find. Like if you're looking for something in particular, don't go to the bins. But if you're just like... I'll just be surprised with whatever the bin gods give me. Nah. Right? Nice short, yeah. Okay. All right. And what do we say? You already said it. We'll say, it. maybe should we end then with one, two, three, bloomies forever? No. Really? No, I'm not, I'm not having that catch on. Okay. Well, we hope your day, I do, is blooming with joy. And I hope you have a lot of sales. Bye. <laughs>